this idea of want to be like, do you want to get money or you want to be hired by the man with get money? Because there's so many cats out here that are saying they want to be a boss, but you're doing dumb shit like that. <laughs> How you going to get money and you constantly stealing, this, you stealing, you stealing cars? You ain't making no money, bro. It ain't even no chop shop. Back when... Put my business out back when I was running pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. When I was popping, the, you remember holographic radios, the dolphin faces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You break yeah. in the car and steal some of those? Yeah. yeah. Then I, I graduated to stealing cars. It was a chop shop that I get money from. Yeah. You just get in the car. <sighs> Come on, yo. Even if we stole a car back then, we played around in it, we parked it and left it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now it's just going crazy. But you want to get money? Hold on, hold on wait. But before you say that, it's, it's some shit out here called strikers. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers got strikers. That's what they. They steal a car. You know what I'm saying? So you said it ain't no chop shops no more. Yeah. They steal a car. Say if you looking for a stoli, they were like, oh, man, I got this. Just give me 15. Oh, you can get money for yeah. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's what they, uh, it was some dude that got his charger stole, mm. and it went to a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see You that. remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it, was a, that yeah. it was a rapper, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. Yeah. It, and they was like, yo, it had a different VIN on it. Yeah. They painted it, switched the rims on it, and oh, he got yeah, because it was a, like a, a SRT eight or something. Yeah, it was a straight was eight or something. One. But I think he was he bought a. Uh, I think he because he got shot it. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He got shot up, and that's how the dude because he a YouTuber. That's how he found mm-hmm. it, and they said the dude clothes and shit was still in the in the uh, in the trunk and shit. But that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I guess that would be considered a form of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, man. Yeah, man. But for the trader, like, uh, like, uh, where can they hit you up? The same spot. Yeah, or or hit me up on Instagram or Instagram. Solid Gray uh, underscore operations, mm-hmm. and, and I pretty much can. I would say I'm a advocate on uh, urban awareness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> urban awareness, right? Especially for me, you know, I was wild, bro. I used to yeah. go to the parties where I knew it was going to be terrible. But I used to go anyways because mm-hmm. like forget it, you know. Even like when we went down to Chicago, yeah, bro, it wasn't safe down there, especially back then. It wasn't safe, bro. Yeah. And we was down there in a the Mustang, yeah, <laughs> artillery in the trunk, yeah. wilding. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I knew because I was still on point. I'd be like, mm, "This ain't," you know. But we was only hanging with people I knew. You right. know what I mean? Right. But uh, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, people gotta uh understand that as far as you need training, somebody who been shoot who been playing with guns since they was like whatever, and catch me like, "Oh, I know how to shoot." I will put them up against anybody. Who had training, who who trained for six months? Yeah, six months of training can even a clear victory over somebody that never had training. Yeah, <laughs> man, bro, you a felon? You you can't go to a gun range to practice. Where you practicing at? Remember, even on the wire, they used to take them out in the woods and way out outside the city so they could shoot at cans to practice. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. What was old girl name? I forgot. With the braids. Yeah, they told the wire. Uh... Snoop was her name, right? The killer? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was out there practicing <laughs> the Young Bucks. Yeah. Where can you go to practice at? You don't got no training. So since you don't got no training, I, I don't want violence, bro. I don't. That's why I advocate for this so you can protect yourself to kind of veer cats off that you do know what you're doing so you can avoid the violence or situation awareness. Because I want you to get to the point where you understand or you recognize when something about to go down, then you could just lead to avoid it. Because I'm telling you right now, them court calls and them fees that you got to go through missing jobs, that's the main reason why I don't want to shoot my stuff because I know how to go. But I do got shooter's insurance. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people don't <laughs> know about. Shit. Right now, I got a card in my pocket mm. that if I were to if I were to call that number, if God forbid, if I had to defend myself from a threat, I'm not worried about paying out of pocket. I yeah. get a lawyer for free. I'm covered up to a million dollars if I have to move, if I have to miss work, or if I have to go out of whatever I got to do. I'm covered to a million dollars, bro, mm-hmm. of covering my expenses. Right. So I ain't worried about it at all. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> for me, I'd be like, damn, jail and what money I got to pay. Mm-hmm. That money out the way, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To to piggyback off that, just to let you know, and I just want to make sure I give people um, a good understanding as far as like, it, it ain't simple. Just somebody talking crazy. And, you know, you pull a gun out and you pop them. It ain't that easy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you're going to jail. Okay? And and this is what people got to know. It's seven rules of what they call a justified force. Uh, you must be reasonably or intimidated in fear of death or grave, or grave bodily harm to yourself or another person. Meaning, you can't just be up there and be like, oh, I was scared, so I shot him. <laughs> they don't go like that. They look at age, gender, and weight, and capability. 
if you five foot eight, two hundred, and this other cat six foot eight, three hundred twenty pounds, then this is just a cause of being like, oh, okay, I might be in danger or another person. You know what I'm saying? But if you can handle yourself, that ain't gonna work. Right. You know, uh, you must be an innocent party. Innocent party. Every state got their own definition of innocent party. If you're not innocent, you you you're going to jail. So say for instance of a scenario, I walk into a bar, you step on my shoe, I say you an asshole, you shoulder bump me, I push you to the ground, you get up with a knife and I pop you. I'm going to jail. Yeah. I I'm I'm not innocent. I called you an asshole and I push you to the ground. I'm not innocent, okay? But look up the definition. Know your laws when it comes to shooting. If you're carrying a gun, know your laws. Each state got their own definition. You must be the lesser force to the significant availability to the stop of the threat, meaning that's all you had. Right. If you got mace, you got to use that mace first before you use the gun. You must have no reasonable means to retreat or escape. That means if there's an exit door there and it's not blocked, you got to use that exit door. Right. You know what I mean? Unless you're in a room and it's a, a half alligator a dinosaur right here, and then you got <laughs> – a cat with a chainsaw, and you, you got a cat that spit acid, you got to start shooting because you ain't got nowhere to go. But as long as there's an exit, you got to go, okay? Mm -hmm. The attacker must have or intent to cause great and bodily harm. If that person ain't even talking to you or ain't directed that force towards you, you can't shoot them. The aggressor must have conventional or unconventional weapon capable of inflicting, inflicting great bodily harm to mean it. If that person got a hat in their hand, they'd be like, I'm going to kill the shit out you with this hat. You going to jail? It's a hat, bro. Okay. If you don't know, is that when you have a blunt object in your hand that weigh more than five pounds, it's considered a deadly weapon. Dang, I see. I ain't know that. Now think about it. You got something five pounds in your hand. You know how much force you can generate as a grown man with five pounds? <laughs> yeah. You can multiply that. So that five pounds turns into like sixty pounds, depending on how much pounds per square inch you swing in your arm, or how much down for. Especially if you're tall, you got a long route to go to be able to hit somebody. You know what I'm saying? So if it's five pounds. And somebody got in your hand, it can kill you. Yeah, yeah, depending on what it is. You know what I mean? And then number seven, the subject must have a, a delivery system, meaning using the weapon to inflict harm. That means if somebody on the third floor with a knife and they say, I'm going to kill you, you on the first floor and you shoot them, you're going to jail. You're right. That knife can't even hurt you from there. Unless that nigga like a ninja and he throwing ninja stars at but you. But what, what if it was more than five pounds and they was on the third floor? You're still good. You you still gonna go to jail? Okay, because they're gonna be like, "What's why you didn't dodge or duck?" You know what I'm saying? You see somebody with something that heavy get ready to throw it. You need to, you know what I'm saying? You need to be on your shit. You know what I mean? But you gotta know those definitions: grave bodily harm, innocent party, uh, 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 no exits. You need to know these certain definitions because in different states they all got different meanings. Right. So you need to know. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm gonna keep it a bug with you between the voice of the streets and DJ Jerry. Yeah. I would DJ Jerry. I had to keep my hand on my weapon with DJ Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of the streets. I saw the interview. Yeah, yeah. The voice of the streets. I ain't said he ain't about it, but DJ Jerry. Yeah. No. You can't turn your back on that nigga. He'll yeah. turn around a point and be like, "It's a quarter down there. You look, you kick in the nuts, <laughs> and then shoot you." Right? Oh no, I ain't trusting DJ Jerry. <laughs> Like my old one, dog, them old little <laughs> tricks in the book work, bro. They always they work. They always that, work, bro. DJ Jerry be like, all right, bro, we'll squash it. Hey, that's yours right there. And then it's all over with after that. <laughs> <laughs> dog, the oldest trick in the book, Oldest dog. trick in the book. And then be like, yo, you still want to do this interview? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real. Uh, no, no, but speaking of uh, 